And okay, guys, Mish Talk, debt counselor phones at capacity in Australia over mortgage and rent issues. Okay, guys, let's go back to Mike Martin's channel here and I'll show you something. Did a video of this. Let's see when the video was made. Wow, lots of Australia videos. Holy smokes. No wonder I get so many views in Australia. Wow. It's probably way back here. Let's see where it is. There it is. So it's been a year now. Australia crisis help hotline out of control. It's got close to 3,000 views. That's the one I did about basically what they're talking about today. Um, oh, where the hell did it? Here it is. No, I'll close that crap. Here it is. Debt counselor phones at capacity in Australia over mortgage and rent issues. Guys, this is going to get worse. Uh, the Australian, I got uh, an insider, someone that is involved with this with this uh, program that has been that has told me that the phones. They have to do callbacks. They have to schedule callbacks a week and a week later. That's how severely, severely uh, uh, plugged they are. Severely plugged. The Don's in the house. Yeah, baby. Okay, so what's happening with these debt counselors? Debt counselors. So I covered the story here a year ago. There it is. There. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. YouTubers. YouTubers! Mike Martin's here. here. Mike, Mike Martin's channel. channel. Just, Just hanging out in my garage doing some projects. You can catch up on some of my project videos if you want. Corny videos, videos that pretty much go nowhere. So, if Yeah, videos that go nowhere. You gotta watch those videos, guys. All right, all right, all right. Let's get to the article here. Cha-cha-cha. The National De Debt Helpline, the federal government-run financial counseling service, and it's on track to receive a record number of cases through its call centers this year many from older australians who can't meet their mortgage and rent payments many calls from older australians who can't meet mortgage or rent payments they said that twice counselor have uh counselors have started uh fielding calls from people struggling to switch to principal and interest mortgage payments oh the phones never stop ringing the phones just never stop now financial counselor greg said they're just going on day after day after day after day. You put down the phone, you pick up the phone again. I sat with Greg while he took some calls. One man who called in had lost his job and the bank the bank was on his back about meeting his repayments. Greg coached him through his options. Have you approached the lender in relation to the hardship arrangement or have you approached the lender to talk about reducing your payments, putting payments on hold until you get back to employment, Greg asked. Short-staffed. Karen Cox coordinates the Financial Rights Legal Center, which runs the call center. Call, volume. call volumes are huge, she said. We're at capacity in terms of the numbers of calls we can take. In fact, we're a bit short-staffed at the moment. Mr. Cox said hundreds of thousands of Australians struggled with credit card and mortgage debt. The most she has seen in her career. Managing financial help, call centers. Salvation Army Hotline. In addition, the National Debt of Salvation Army is flooded with calls. The Salvation Army's Financial Counseling Service Money Care warned it was at breaking point in 2017-2018 financial year. Money Care saw 18% increase in Australians seeking help. The service has seen big increases in the number of Australians over the age of 55 reaching out for help. The deal uh, with what it calls severe debt, which which is debt at more than six times the, the person's annual disposable income. Australians who need help can contact the National Debt Hotline. The phone number, guys, is 1-800-007. Uh, yeah, 007. Again, one eight one eight zero 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 seven zero zero seven. Again, one eight hundred zero zero seven zero zero seven. Gee, who would have possibly think this could happen? Did we hear that home prices only rose and buying homes was a retirement plan? It's so easy to buy a home. It's so easy that this thirteen year old kid kids were buying homes flashback twenty twenty third of uh, seventeen. 
A 13-year-old kid buys $552,000 home. Dollar home. I, I remember this article. Uh, bought the house because they were afraid that they'll never afford to buy. Now, look at the bright side. I mean, when he gets to uh, maybe 30, 40, the house might be back at where he bought it, the original price he bought it for. Buying a house could be quite scary, especially when it's your first purchase and renovation. There are so many things to think about. I suspect there is a bit more to think about now. When the liquidity dries up, leveraged property buyers are royally screwed. So that's that, people. Those call centers are uh, going nuts right now. And I think they're going to start, uh, they're going to have to expand into other call centers and stuff. 